Hello all, welcome to a demo video where we show you seamless signing experience for a bank's customer and admins using mSigner in a step-by-step -step process. Here is a scenario where a bank officer needs to send the account opening form along with the terms and conditions to the customer to which the customer needs to fill in and review along with the terms and conditions adding all the supporting documents as per bank's policy and finally sign the document in a swift manner. In the end, the form will be reviewed by the bank officer until he approves the same. Let's see how this business flow can be enabled using mSigner. First, the bank officer logs into the system using his credentials. Click on Login. Once logged in, he'll be able to see the mSigner dashboard and on the left side of the screen, you'll be able to see all the predefined workflows within the system. Now he needs to click on the Demo Corporate Account opening form to onboard a corporate customer. Now, to send the onboarding form along with the terms and conditions to the customer, bank officer needs to specify the customer as signatory one, and the same can be mapped to his email address. Click on the checkbox. This will trigger an OTP to the customer. Now click on apply. Similarly, bank officer can map himself to signatory two and this email address as you can see here. Now the same needs to be done to the terms and conditions form as well. Click on apply. Now click on save and continue. Before sending, check if the bank officer wishes to attach any other supporting document. This can be done here. Now here, let's click on send. Now you'll see a pop-up and that states that the workflow has been initiated for the bank officer's side. Click on OK. Now, the customer will receive an email from the mSigner sandbox in his inbox, which says document pending for his signature. Click on that email and click on preview and sign. Once clicked, an SMS OTP will be sent to his mobile. Enter the OTP here. and click on continue button. Now let's look at the review and sign process. Customer here can now review the customer onboarding document and fill in the necessary details. After filling in, he can review the terms and conditions of the document as well. Once the review process is done, the customer can choose e-signature as a signing option, which is visible on the right side of the screen. Now let's click on e-signature. Now let's click on sign button. The next step is a signer attachment. Here the customer can attach mandatory identity proof as set by the bank in this case, passport copy or pen card copy, after which he can click on proceed button as shown. The next step is generating signature image. Now the customer can choose on how he would want his signature to appear on the document. They can either select from a predefined set of template or upload scanned copy of signature image draw their signature or connect an e-signature pad and sign the document. Now let's click on sign. Now you'll see that this process has successfully captured the customer's signature on the document as part of the workflow. The form will now go to bank officers for his review and approval. Now let's log in as a bank officer using his credentials to the mSigner.
let's provide the credentials and click on login. Once logged in, click on the pending dashboard. And click on my signatures. Here, the bank officer can view the onboarding document. He can also view the attached documents by the customer and then review and approve the terms and conditions by clicking on e-signature on the right side of the screen. Here, he can also leave a comment and post the same. If the bank officer wants to decline the same, he can do so by clicking the decline button on the top of the screen. In this way, bank can successfully onboard a customer using MSigner's simple yet powerful workflow feature. You'll see that the signing has been done successfully. Click on OK. Under the Settings tab in MSigner, Bank Admin User can manage users. Here, we'll show you some extended features of MSigner. Under the Settings tab in MSigner, Bank Admin Users can manage users, manage departments, manage workflows, and set up access controls on the same. MSigner also provides you with white labeling options where the bank officer, in our case, can customize the signer page with their company's logo to reinforce brand, to reinforce brand throughout the document signing even for all the customers. MSigner also has provisions that allows admin to create multiple profiles, which can then be used to define various types of supporting document that need to be attached while performing signature as per bank's process and policy. MSigner can also support various API integrations and powerful document signing capabilities that can augment your company's existing systems and workflows. Thank you for watching the video.